Hi guys and welcome to today's video. My name is Melissa Joyce. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to be talking about a product that I received in my June Ipsy subscription and that is this product from Peak Beauty and it is Black Primer. Uh, the Black Primer is supposed to intensify shadows over top of it. I've been testing this a little bit and I am going to talk a little bit about the company. I have reviewed a Peak Beauty product before, actually I think it was just last month. I'll put a link to that review down below, but I'll talk a little bit about the company in this video, a little bit about the product. Uh, I'm going to put it on because I don't have it on right now. We're going to see how it performs together um, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. As I said, I have used this prior to doing this review so that I can tell you overall what I think of this product. So let's talk a little bit about Peak Beauty. Oh, and I will put timestamps down below so that you can click forward to the part of the video that you were interested in if you don't care so much about the company info. Peak Beauty was founded by Christina Bertolucci. She has done cosmetics for film and for television. I believe she's also started another cosmetics company before this, but decided to start Peak Beauty because she wanted to come up with a beauty line that was there to enhance all women's natural beauty. The idea was to create a streamlined approach to amplify the appearance of fresh natural beauty. It's supposed to range from everyday wearable to edgy and sophisticated, and the products are supposed to be weightless, semi-sheer, and flattering to every skin tone. Peak does not have a huge variety of products. They have what they call their Amplify series, which includes this black primer as well as a white primer. It's actually a duo that you buy together, so you don't just get the black primer if you want to buy this from them. The Amplify series also has a, what is it called? A um, illuminating face primer. They also have a number of the Metalli Matte products, which is blush. Um, I've reviewed that before. That was the other product that I had. Uh, and then there also seems to be sort of a plumping lip product. I believe they also used to have eyeshadows, but I can't find any mention of that on the website anymore. So not a huge product line, which leads me to believe it's a relatively new company. They bill themselves as being gluten-free, cruelty-free, and drama-free. Still don't know what the drama part means yet, um, but they are gluten-free and cruelty-free. So let's talk about this product in particular. I saw that it was a black primer and I I assumed it was a black eye primer, which it is, so that's what I have been testing it as. Uh, it is part, as I said, of their amplifier collection, which includes the illuminating face balm and a black and white eye primer. So if you want to buy the duo of the black and white primer, it's going to be $22. If you buy it together with the face illuminizing balm, it's going to be $30. Those are all in American prices. So as I said, I was using this as a eye primer. It's supposed to intensify eyeshadows. When I was looking at the Ipsy description of it, they said it can also be used as a lip primer to sort of change the colors of your lipsticks. Um, I have not tried that, but we're gonna try it today because I brought some lipstick over to test. Um, I'm going to show you uh, the review kind of starts at this point because let's get into reviewing and me showing you how this works. So it's in this little container here, which is cute. They have cute packaging, but the fact that it is cute, see how tiny, like tiny this little thing is, um, but the fact that it is cute makes it like really difficult to open. Like it, it even says, do not put this back on here hard um, because it becomes very hard to open. It's a slippery little thing too. So this is the product that you get. So of course, when you first get something, you're like, oh, new product, let me swatch that. And I kind of put my finger in thinking it's gonna be super black. Oh, well now it's super black. When you first get this, there's kind of a film over the top. So I put my finger in, rubbed and took it out and it was like a very light gray. And I did that a couple of times. So as I've been testing this, the last time I used it, I kind of went in and scraped some up with my nail to be able to get a little bit more blackness on there. And I think that's why it now is coming out a little bit blacker. So. I will zoom in and let's put this on my eye together. What I thought I would do is put it on one eye and not on the other so you can see the difference that it actually makes to the shadows. So you can see it's not super black and I don't know if that's good or bad. that's what sort of one go over does. I expected it to be blacker than this when I first started using it, so I did try to build it up a little bit, and I might try to do that a little bit now too. So it's a little messy. Like you can see how it sort of got 
under my eye a little bit too. Right now I have sort of my concealer and everything. It's a very light makeup look so you can still see my freckles through it. Um, I have my concealer on already but it would be a good thing to use this at the start of your makeup so that you can clean up around it with your foundation and with your concealer. Now what I have learned from testing this out before and doing one eye versus the other is that if you put a brush in this and move the brush somewhere else, it transfers along, like the primer will transfer. So I'm gonna use my Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to do a very simple look on this eye first so that you can see the difference when I put it on the eye with the primer. I'm gonna use just a little bit of warm taupe in my crease. I'm going to then take a little bit of, uh, let's do burnt orange and put that on the outside part of my eye. And then I'm just gonna put my finger into Primavera to do sort of the inner corner here. And there we go, simple eye look. That needs more blending. Is it perfect? No, but for the sake of this demo, that's what we got on that side. So on the other side, I'm going to go into Warm Taupe again and start to blend. Now what I do find is that this primer is sticky and it doesn't super dry down. So you can see it kind of moves around a little bit, which is good for blending because you don't necessarily want black primer to go up and stop. Um, it does, in my opinion, make it get a little patchy. Then we're gonna do the burnt orange as we did on the other side. And then the Primavera on the inner corner. So that's on the black primer side versus the non-black primer side. And yes, this all needs a lot more blending. So I don't know that I would say that it intensifies the shadows. But if you want to use it as the start of a dark smoky look, I think that it would be fine. I mean, I actually don't see a huge amount of difference right now. What I will say though, is I used this the other day exactly like this with actually pretty much these shadows on a side with the primer and a side without. And it did help it hold in longer. Now I didn't do primer, black primer versus other eyeshadow primer, but it really helped the shimmer on the inner corner stay in there for longer. Um, you know, it helped the shadows hang in a little bit more. So it did work well as a primer. As far as it actually intensifying the eyeshadows at all, I don't know that I find that. I think they look fairly similar on both my eyes. So let's zoom in a little bit and play with lipstick. The one that I brought over to play with is my NYX uh, Butter Lipstick. This is in the shade Ripe Berry. And I brought this because I find it's not a super high full coverage um, lipstick. It sort of does a sheer wash of color if you just do it once. So this is what it looks like just on its own. Now I'm not building up a huge amount because I kind of want to give the primer a chance to change its tone a little bit. So that is the NYX Butter Lipstick by itself. Now I'm gonna wipe this off and we're gonna put black primer on my lips, which I'm a little hesitant about, and then we'll try putting it on again. That's one coat. That's two coats, looking a little gothy at this point. I will say it doesn't feel that on the lips. It's not drying, it's not super stiff or anything like that. It actually just kind of feels like I have a gloss on or like a not super sticky gloss or more like a creamy lipstick. It's a very thin feel on it. And let's try this again. I mean, yeah, it changed the color of it. It deepened it down, you know? I actually do like the way that that looks. It gave it a very vampy kind of look, which I think is quite nice. So what are my final thoughts on this product? I am going to say it's no for me, and here is why. I don't necessarily think as an eye primer that this does anything that is that different than any other eyeshadow primer that I have does. Like it didn't make a huge difference in the coloring of the eyeshadow when I put it on. Uh, it didn't make it super dark or anything like that because it wasn't really black, 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 which makes me think if it's a similar formula, if it comes in a duo with a white one, that the white is not really going to have any impact. And like, if I wanted to use a white that was gonna 
really make the colors pop. I know people talk about using like the NYX milk pencil, that kind of thing in white. Um, I think there's other things out there that really give you more dramatic color differences that things are going to stand out on top of. Even, um, what's the drugstore one? Is it a Revlon or Maybelline 24 hour? It almost is like a dupe for the MAC paint pot, but you can get it in a number of different colors and you can, it's like a cream shadow. But I think if you got a dark cream shadow, it would do the same thing as this in terms of acting as a primer, but would do more in terms of act actually letting the colors pop and intensify because I didn't find this was black enough to make that happen. Now, as I sat here and did the test with the lipstick, I actually think this is kind of cool in mixing in and deepening things down. Um, but I think you could also do that from buying a deep color of lipstick and mixing the two together. It's going to do the same thing. It didn't really act as a dried down black base to then put a lipstick over. It was more like using a really like a dark lip lipstick and then mixing another lipstick in with it. My other frustration is I just kind of feel a little bit like the company is not paying attention. I mentioned this in my last video about Peak and I'll mention that here as well. Like this is a 1.5 gram sample. This is a sample. If the actual product is $22 for a duo of these, how much product do I get? I don't know. They don't tell you how much product you get for that money, which I find very frustrating. I mean, I think just even based on the product's performance, it would be a no for me, but like if I was interested in it, I would really want to know, you know, if I paid $22 American, which is going to be like $30 Canadian, am I going to get a duo where both the products are this size? Um, you know, this size, or is it going to be more? I don't know. Um, and even on the website, like if you go to this, um, I'm going to insert a picture here of the a screenshot from the website, is they tell you like four things that you can do with this primer, but it matches up with a picture where the numbers make no sense. Like it looks like this is supposed to go under your eyes or on your upper, like your skin. So it just feels like they need to take some time and really go through like their web presence, that kind of thing. If you're putting these things out and they are in subscription boxes to get people to try them, to like them, to go to your website and to order the full size, which is the point of these things, then clean things up a little on the website, answer some of the questions that I have. Because, you know, I, I liked the blush for what it was. Um, this I don't think it does enough, but if I did like it, I would still have so many questions about how much I was actually getting if I bought this directly from the website. So that is my thoughts on the Peak Black Primer. It's unfortunately not, not a big thumbs up from me, but it was fun to be able to try because I have never tried a black primer before and I'm kind of liking what this did to the NYX Butter Lipstick. So that is the review for today. Did you receive this? What did you think of it? Did you try it? Have you tried it on your lips? Leave me a comment. I read all the comments and I respond to all the comments because I love chatting with you guys in the comments. If you've not subscribed but you would like to, you can click on my face which should be appearing right about here and I will also put an old video up here so that you can click on that and watch it as well and I will see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you again soon. Bye!